What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nicola Espresso and welcome to the countdown 30 days left until Advanced Warfare. Slowly but surely we're getting there. Today we got some awesome information regarding both the single player and multiplayer versions of the game. This video is going to be going over some of the information that we got from that. A lot of the stuff at this time that it goes up though will be outdated and there will be some new stuff. So if I don't get to it, don't worry, that's not all that there is. But at the time of when this is going live, this is all I could find, this is all I could get my hands on. And if there is some other secret stuff stuff, let me know down in the comment section down below if I missed it. Before we get too far into it, I do want to apologize though for a later upload. I was quite busy earlier this morning, a lot busier than I thought I would be, so I'm just getting home now and just getting this to you guys. So hopefully we can still do work on this video by sharing it out there, getting it to all the sub boxes, assuming that YouTube actually does work. And if you could leave a like rating down below, that would be absolutely greatly appreciated. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So earlier today on the Call of Duty website, we got a bunch of information given to us, both for single player and multiplayer for doing one simple thing, connecting devices via QR code, or just copying and pasting a link into one of your browsers or a mobile device or something similar. Now for each one of these times that you'd be able to open up the browser and use the same QR code or a custom URL, well you'd have the chance to get five new pieces of intel in relation to the multiplayer and single player of Advanced Warfare. So let's take a look at what we've got so far, it did get a little bit repetitive if you're trying to do it these same ways over and over again, you'd probably get a lot of the same information but what we did get is four new pieces of video teasing us some stuff in the Advanced Warfare multiplayer. The first of which that we were shown was the Terminated Metal. This is something that you'll get whenever you're in the Goliath and just going absolutely off on everybody. This is earned by just getting a kill simply in the Goliath. It doesn't matter how, whether it be with the rockets or with the Gatling gun. Whatever you do, if you just get a kill, then you get the Terminated Metal. The next video that we got showcases our ability to rip off the top of the turrets and make it almost like a mobile. Gatling gun, whatever it may be that you have equipped on it, and if it shoots rockets, well, like this one, you get to destroy stuff extremely easy. This one showcasing how you can take out the Goliath with extreme ease and pretty much just one shot of that turret that you detach. So along with that, you also get the David medal, which is a pretty cool wordplay if you know anything about the David and Goliath story. But moving on, the next thing that we have showcases the remote turret and the ability to remote control it. Now, while not as cool or entertaining as maybe just ripping it off and destroying an entire Goliath, it's still a very cool look into how we will be seeing our remote turret come advanced warfare. This is something like we saw in Black Ops 2, pretty much the same exact thing, where you can remote control it, but we're just getting showcased that the actual turret itself has directed energy equipped on it, so it's going to do a little bit more damage than, say, a regular sentry gun would with regular bullets. Now, the last video that we got out of this was the Death From Above medal, this one showcasing the Exo Slam, where you boost jump up and then fall directly on an enemy, which will get you a kill and, and a pretty awesome style, if you ask me. It's something that I think is going to be something that a lot of people are going to go for, especially at the beginning of the game at launch. Everybody just wants to use that exo ability, and then if you get a free kill out of it too, that's also awesome. And the last thing that we got from this QR code and custom URL search is a bunch of achievements. Some of these I won't be able to get to, simply because there are so many of them that were showcased in this, and so many that were repeated that I just didn't even get around to it. So, the ones that I've seen while using this custom QR code and URL include Death From Above, where you kill an enemy with the boost slam, Think Fast, where you kill an enemy from impact damage of equipment from your exosuit, so like almost direct impacting them with a frag grenade or something similar where it doesn't have to detonate but you kill them beforehand. No soup for you, this one didn't have a description for it, I don't understand why. Riot control where you kill 20 enemies while linked up to the mobile cover drone. Sitting ducks where you kill 3 enemies with one shot in the sniper drone on manhunt. And as of right now, that's all I have. Now I guess that is a little bit pathetic to be bringing you guys that with only 5 or whatever it was that I noted, but it's more than nothing and it's something that I actually encourage you guys to go out and check this out and see which ones you got with the custom URL and QR code. Now the last thing that I want to mention here in this video today is that we got a brand new character finally revealed to us this one. We've kind of known about for it a little bit but never really had any look ins as to who she was. This one is Ilana voiced by Angela Gotts according to the IMDB for Advanced Warfare. This is our first real look at one of our main characters. She was a Spetnaz trained sniper and is now under 
under the Sentinel Task Force, so she's a complete badass. I wouldn't want to cross her, and she's probably going to be one of our main characters here come November and the Advanced Warfare campaign. So in the interest of time, I think we're going to end it here today. Like I said, there was a ton of stuff handed out to us on the Call of Duty website. Some of the stuff I honestly didn't get to. Some of the stuff I probably didn't even see, so I don't even know that I missed it. So if you did see something here that you did and didn't see it here on this video, be sure to let me know down in the comment section down below. Again, sorry for the late upload. I was extremely busy today. I thought I'd be home earlier to get you guys a video a little bit earlier, but obviously that didn't happen. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what you think down there in the comment section down below. If you did like the video, be sure to leave a like rating down below. Any shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or my specific video, like that always greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content and any news information. You guys know exactly to find it right here up on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Vinicola Espresso. As always, I hope you're having a great day. I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace.